Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We are the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2005 Lexus SC430. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the update series so it's got the much nicer alloy wheels. Bluetooth navigation and it's got an impeccable service history they're absolutely beautiful there's wood grain everywhere it's got memory electric seats on the drivers and passenger side it's silver with black leather interior and this is a car which really needs to be seen to be appreciated I will open up the logbook to show you the service history and it's absolutely beautiful I've had a number of Lexuses I had a 2005 Lexus um, it wasn't an SC430 it was a update Lexus LX470 but it was the same colour silver as this and it was great it was just so easy to keep it clean and what I love about Lexus is you've got really everything that a European car offers you without the maintenance and the expense of having a European car. I don't think you can have too much timber in a vehicle, especially if it's a Lexus or a European car. It's got the original leather pouch, all the original books, from manuals to service. It's got the original number plates on the car. There's a spare key there. All right, so we'll just start at the beginning. These are all Lexus seals. There's an X there. That's because the car only had 25,000 kilometers, so they've stamped in the 25,000 kilometer section. So we've got all these across here. These are all Lexus seals, if you can't see them. Sometimes you have to get down like that to see the seals. All the way through isn't that incredible so that was the most recent one and you think okay so it's been fully serviced all the way through isn't that great but there's more it's actually had intermediate services as well here we go 25,000 k's 35,000 kilometers 145 155 165 that's got 195 some people say you know the car's only done 160,000 kilometers why is it stamped at 195 has the clock been wound back the answer is no basically I'll fix that up later basically you got to service the car say it's a 150,000 kilometer service you got to service it at 150,000 kilometers or 15 years or whatever it might be so although you've stamped 195 it might have been done based on time it's got the Mark Leveson sound system which is incredible we'll start it up it springs to life it's 172,000 kilometers since it was new which is absolutely nothing on a V8 Lexus especially with a service history like that some people think that you know like in the old days the car got to 100,000 kilometers or 100,000 miles it was at the end of its life we should say the same thing for Lexus except it's not 100,000 kilometers it's a million the amount of Lexus LS series, LS 400s and things with six, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand kilometers is incredible. There's people online, you know, you can read, I think there's a video on YouTube where a guy had a GS 300 and he documented it from 150 to 300,000 miles. And the fact that he didn't have to spend much money on it at all, it was just oil changes, brakes and tires which is what's great about these Lexuses. I sold a LX470. It was a 98 model. It had the 4.7 litre V8 engine. And I sold that 10 years ago with 400 and... 
39,000 kilometres. It's still around the corner from my house and it's still, it's still driving. I think it makes a trip to Dubbo every month or every six weeks since I sold it. So I'd hate to think how many kilometres it's, it's done now. Um, and I uh, spoke to the spoke to the current owner a while ago, probably a year ago now. And I think at the time it had done seven or eight hundred thousand kilometres. See these cars, they keep going. They'll pretty much keep going. If you keep servicing it, the car will keep going. Where you do get failure and problems is the car gets to an age. Might have done 300,000 kilometres, might only be worth a few thousand dollars, and people think, well, what's the point in keeping up with the servicing? Why would I service it religiously? It's not worth anything. Well, it depends on whether you want to keep it or not, I guess. But if you do keep servicing it, the car will keep going. Obviously, there's maintenance along the way. There's brakes, tyres, you change fluids. You know, I'd say when a gearbox is done half a million kilometres, it might need a rebuild. But, uh, but the engines themselves are very good. The body is also very good on Lexus. With a lot of cars, like some of the old Ford Falcons and things, the engine and gearbox would last forever, but unfortunately that outlasts the body. Same goes for Toyota Land Cruiser. You know, if you bought a four litre turbo diesel, H, you know, HJ62 from 1988, the gearbox engine would go forever, but the car would rust to pieces after about five years, five to ten years. But it's a very impressive car. It's a great colour, very good history, update, Bluetooth, navigation, Xenon lights, and all that was standard. And you know, they do things properly. It's got a big V8 engine, so guess what? It's got to have big brakes. But it's very impressive. If you have any specific questions about the car, please give us a call. You can contact us on 029569 We have in-house finance available. We're in Maracle. We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney CBD and the airport. Um, we also it's got the updated tail lights, so you've got the clear lens here. AYV, that was original. The original plate on the car, I'd say, being an 05 model. They looked a lot better with these wheels. The the wheels on the earlier SC430 weren't great. Um, these were much better. The car hasn't been in the sun. The leather is excellent. Really, the fact that it's done 170,000 kilometres, I think, is irrelevant when you look at the condition and the service history. And you do find these Lexuses with big kilometres, especially if someone's, maybe they live in Sydney, they've got a property somewhere, they might do 500 or 1,000 kilometres a week, whatever it might be, in some cases. But uh, yeah, it's a very impressive car, and we welcome the opportunity to take you for a test drive. Thanks so much for watching.